Where are we now, Nana? So right now we just entered one of the workshop groups. We have uh, Philip. He's sitting over here. He's wearing a green suit. Yes. Have in, mind. in here we are working with a couple of a sustainable theory called cradle to cradle on how to always when you make products and design make sure you can do it the same way tomorrow so you optimize from production to use to disposal to disassembly Here we have the Swedish clan. Can you explain the drawing a little bit? Yeah, we, we took the example of uh, how this the ants, there are so much ants, but they, uh, we didn't notice them. And our idea was to to live like ants under the earth, and use the uh, earth warm, and collect the uh, light from the sun, yes, to, to live under us. Um, there's natural earth energy, and there's enough space to produce food on, on the earth, over the ground. Yes. That's a good idea. So you just take them out. Because you can make it like boilers and then make it So that was the workshop of Phillips working with sustainability and the theory called cradle to cradle. What is it and how do we take a product and optimize the product so there's no waste, there's no pollution, there's nothing, it maybe even upcycles. Um, like, yeah, so the whole chain is good. <laughs>